Shelby and Nick met, and she was like, Mom, this is really cute guy. I said, well, are you serious about this guy? And she said, I'm, I'm still waiting, you know. She said, we're just going to see where it goes. Then Nick wanted to start dating Shelby, and she was like, I'm, 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 I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I just started college, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for something that serious yet. So Nick invites Shelby to come to New Orleans for New Year's. So imagine now, today, she gets to live here, and she gets to be with you, and she gets to live in New Orleans, in one of our favorite places. Shelby is very much like me, like we're very, to ourselves, we're not super like gonna just jump out of the box all the time, okay? So I don't know what Nick did, but he did something. And she has been stuck to him ever since, and I've loved it. I've loved getting to watch y'all be together. And I remember seeing her for the first time, sitting there in our kitchen on the bench, shy, quiet, dressed nice, looking like she was about to go to church. <laughs> Little did she know she was going to a Nick Cox Mardi Gras. <laughs> but uh, with Nick, he's, he's so spontaneous, and Shelby, you're always going to have um, a very exciting life. Uh, it will not be boring with Nick Cox in your life. So. Pretty nervous, but I'm excited. After three reschedules, I was really looking forward to today for a long time, and I'm glad today has finally come. <laughs> Deacon Charlie, Nick's grandfather, he wanted so much to be a part of Nicholas and Shelby's joining together. So here are Deacon Charlie's words. I am sorry I am not physically with you. However, I am there spiritually. I bless the love in everyone's hearts and a very special blessing for Nicholas and Shelby. Amen. May God bless Nick and Shelby in a very special way today and for the rest of their lives. Let their hearts love God and each other forever. Since I see spiritual and goodness of Regina, Ralph, and Shelby's families in both Nick and Shelby, I know they are on the golden road. God bless everyone. Deacon Charles Hyde. I, Nicholas, take you, Shelby, to be my wife. I, Shelby, take you, Nicholas, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life all the days of my life. It is my pleasure to introduce to you, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Cox. I met Nick, was at our house, but he blended in well. I, I remember Nick wanted to borrow Shelby's car to go to Monroe one night. And then this happened again. I called Susan and I said, 
what about this boy wanting to borrow Shelby's car to go to Monroe? I said, I don't, I don't know about that. I said, doesn't he have his own vehicle? <laughs> he said, well, he's trying to save gas money. <laughs> I said, oh, he's using our daughter's car to save gas money. <laughs> but it all worked out fine. But anyway, I know it's been a difficult ride and uh, there's some people here that are not here tonight in person, but we know they're here in spirit and uh, they're wishing you well and we love y'all all. We've shared a lot of tears and a lot more laughter and I know it wouldn't be the person I am today without you. I'm so proud of the person you've become and the life you've made for yourself, especially the man you chose to spend your life with. Love is a friendship caught on fire. So may your fire stay strong and bright and filled with love and laughter. And a lot more Mardi Gras to go. Yeah.